today is an exciting day. It's finally time to plant out our tomatoes. We started our tomatoes inside way back in mid-March, but we waited to plant them out until well after our last frost, when lows in our extended forecast were 50 degrees or above. And then we hardened the plants off for a week outside to gradually acclimate them to the outside conditions. Now it's time to plant. I've already done a detailed how-to on how I grow tomatoes, so rather than cover that ground again, I thought I'd bring you along with me today, show you the different varieties I'm planting, and talk generally about how I grow tomatoes. The first variety is Sweet Millions. If you've seen any of my tomato videos, you've probably also seen our Sweet Million tomatoes. These are the tomatoes that produce the huge trusses of sweet, delicious cherry tomatoes. They're a hybrid and they're very productive. Let's get it in the ground. These indeterminate cherry tomatoes grow very fast and they get very tall, and they're already a bit leggy. So I'm going to plant them fairly deep, and I'll use a fence post shovel to do the digging. Okay, that looks like a good depth. I'll pinch off this leaf rather than bury it. Plant the tomato in the hole. Not root bound yet. And fill it in. The tomato will grow new roots along the stem where it comes into contact with the soil. I don't add any amendments or fertilizers to the planting hole. Okay, tamp it down a bit. And looking good. Okay, while you weren't looking, I planted two more tomatoes, another Sweet Millions, and an organic Sweetie Cherry tomato. We use the square foot gardening spacing of one tomato per square foot when planting indeterminate tomatoes. We prune the suckers and we grow them up a trellis. Pruning the suckers allows us to grow more tomatoes per square foot. Now let's take a closer look at this Sweetie Organic tomato. This tomato is part of an experiment that I'm really excited about. I planted it in the grow room in mid-March. At the same time, I planted the same seeds outside under a cold frame. This tomato is quite a bit smaller than the one started indoors, but that may not matter that much in the long run. Over the course of the growing season, I'll monitor the two tomatoes and make casual observations about how they do compared to one another. If the tomato started outdoors under cover, does as well or better than the one started indoors. I'll be starting a lot more tomatoes outside under cover next year. Now let's finish up this bed. Our soil is already rich enough in nutrients that I'm not going to add any store-bought fertilizers or amendments. I'm just going to add a little homemade vermicompost. I call it vermicompost instead of worm castings because the material isn't finished. It's still full of chunks and I don't do anything to separate out the worm castings from the unfinished material. Okay, now let's water and mulch. All right, let's finish up and mulch. Like everything else we grow, we mulch our tomatoes. We've got some leaf mulch here that I'll just pull around the tomatoes. I usually keep it a little bit away from the stem. Well, that's three down and about 27 to go. I'm gonna get a head start on the next eight, which I'll be planting on the west side of the bed behind me. I'll be back with you in a moment. While you were away, I planted eight more tomatoes in the walkway next to this raised bed. Growing in walkways is something I started doing a couple of years ago to try to find a way to grow more tomatoes. And when they're pruned to a single stem, they don't take up nearly as much space and we can squeeze them in areas like this. To my far right, we have two more sweet millions. This is an indigo rose, the first of the heirlooms that I planted. This is the first time we've grown this tomato and I'm really looking forward to it. And right here next to me is a Japanese black trifelli. I'm not 100% sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's spelled T-R-I-F-E-L-E. -E. This is a potato leaf variety that produces a dark red to black fruit that's the size and shape of a Bartlett pear. And here to my left is evidence that I'm not always as organized as I appear to be in videos. One of the things I'm not very good at is keeping labels on plants, and all of these plants were unlabeled. I'm not certain what they are. So there's 11 tomatoes planted so far. Let's see if I can find room for another 19 so I'll have a total of 30 plants. 
Here on the east side of the garden, I managed to find room for nine more tomatoes, bringing our total to 20. I planted two more sweet millions here and seven heirlooms along the edge of this walking path. Hey, Oscar. Okay, the first three tomatoes are an Isis candy, which is my favorite tasting small variety. Next is a purple tomato, which we're growing for the first time. And finally, there's a blueberries tomato, which is one of the most beautiful tomatoes we've ever grown. It ranges in color from green when it's starting out to blue, to dark purple, and to dark red and black. It's a gorgeous tomato. All right, bud, let's go on. Okay, the next tomato is a black vernissage, which we tried for the first time last year and absolutely loved. This plant did not get up to a great start, but we're hoping it makes a comeback. This tomato, on the other hand, looks great, but I didn't label it. Not sure what it is. And the last two tomatoes on this side of the yard are a black cherry, which we've grown for years and love, and a pink boar, which we tried for the first time last year and really like it. Now let's see if we can find room for another 10 tomatoes to bring our total to 30. The reason I'm not sure if I'll have room for 30 tomatoes is that I didn't plan for that many when I put together my garden layout back in January. So I really need to set some priorities right now to make sure I get everything that I really want planted into the ground. And what I want to plant right now is three large tomato varieties. So far everything I've planted has been a small variety and we grow a lot of them because they do well with our limited sun. The three large varieties that I want to make sure to plant are Cherokee Purple, Big Rainbow, and what I'm calling Mystery Tomato. I'm calling it that because it came up last year. I had no idea what it was, but it produced large, red, delicious tomatoes. So I saved the seeds and I'm going to plant it again. Let's find a space for this Cherokee Purple first. Okay, I'll put the Cherokee Purple right about there. Big rainbow over here. And the Mystery Tomato. I'm giving Mystery Tomato the best spot because it was our best large tomato producer last year. Okay, that should be deep enough. Loosen up the roots a bit. All right, let's fill it in. Perfect home for the mystery tomato. There you go. Okay, I went ahead and finished planting our three large tomato varieties. And I moved the big rainbow from over there to here because this is a sunnier spot. All three of these plants should get more than six hours, so hopefully they'll do well. We still have a lot of tomatoes that I haven't planted yet. I'm going to pick out my seven favorite and try to find room for them. I'll be back after I'm done planting. Well, they said it couldn't be done, but I managed to squeeze in seven more tomatoes in this area right here. Any more than that would have been pushing it. The tomatoes on the right will get a good amount of sun, but the ones on the left will be in shade most of the day. But I'm used to growing tomatoes in the shade and we should see some production. Unfortunately, I'm not sure what all the varieties are because again, I didn't label them all. With those last seven tomatoes, I now have a total of 30 tomatoes planted in the garden. Hey Oscar, and at least 12 varieties. I'm not sure exactly what the number is because I didn't label them all. I've included a list of the known varieties in the description below. There's just one missing, Isis Candy. If I put that there, YouTube will flag the video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos on how to grow a lot of food on a little land without spending much or working harder than you have to. Come on, boy. Let's go inside.